Hi guys, today I want to show you how to use the nanodrop to determine protein concentrations in small amounts such as like 1.5 microliters. Um, this way obviously you don't need as much protein or um, the other method is using a spectrometer and for that you need at least um, a couple hundred microliters. So grab your smallest pipette and you need to set it to 1.5 microliters. Um, anywhere between 1 to 2 microliter is recommended, so I go for 1.5. And then first you want to open the nanodrop software, then select protein, and if you're doing nucleic acid, you select that. Then you load 1.5 microliter of water millicule water onto um, this place after you clean it then you slowly want to close the close it so um, you don't disrupt the bubble and also there should be no air bubbles in it once you pipette it then you initialize the instrument then you um, open it again and clean the water After you do that, you want to uh, load your buffer, the buffer that your protein is in, but here you don't have any protein, it's just buffer. And once you load that, you want to select blank on the nanodrop software. So this will blank it, and then after this, you want to have your protein sample ready and yeah you open it again you clean it removing the buffer droplet so now you load your protein that is in your buffer again 1.5 microliter do it carefully so there are no air bubbles And gently close it and this time you select measure on the software and once you do that you will get um, a value for the concentration in milligram per mil but you should not take this you should take the absorption at um, 280 which is 0 0.4 then you will use the beer Lambert law which is absorption equals the extinction coefficient of the protein times concentration times the length of the path then you solve for the concentration that way and you can get your extinction coefficient from Port Param.